The bill not only provides a standard, but is also expected to instill public confidence that security guards are trained professionals. Private security guards are unlicensed and unregulated. As many as three people have been killed by private security in the past two years. There have been incidents in Baltimore City over many years um, that I think really cry out for this enhanced regulation. The lack of former training and little oversight is alarming to Baltimore City Delegate Elizabeth Embry. She introduced legislation to do something about it. We just want to make sure that um, anyone who's interacting with the public in a way that they may use force against them, weapons or just restraint, physical restraint, that the public has some confidence that there has been some certification process, background check, making sure that they um, are adequately trained and supervised. The legislation requires all security guards in Maryland, regardless of their employer, to be licensed by the state. The Maryland Police Training and Standards Commission will develop and establish the program. The 12-hour training curriculum would include the appropriate use of force, de-escalation tactics, and basic criminal law. There's also a requirement to report the use of force to state police within 48 hours. This is looking at the private security guard industry and looking at what other states have done. A House committee heard testimony on the bill today and no one signed up in opposition. The legislation is cross-filed with City Senator Jill Carter. A hearing on that bill is scheduled tomorrow. Reporting from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.